All right, so now let's say you're done with your video and you want to share it with somebody. One of the really great things about this is a program called Screencast. And so if you go up to the top of your screen, you can't see it on my screen because it just goes barely goes off. But right at the top of your screen, you'll see the share button. And if you click on that, it pops down these different options for sharing it. And what you definitely want to do is try out Screencast. What's cool is that anybody who has Snagit is given a free Screencast account. And what this does is it allows you to upload your video onto a secure server and, and then it gives you a URL for that video. So let me show you what happens. So I just click Screencast and it's now uploading the video. And it's asking for my password. Now, if you're just getting started using Screencast, you can set up your free account. Or in my case, I've already set up the account, so I just need to log in. This little thing pops up right here. So this is the video that pops up into your browser. And this is the URL for the video. And you can send that to anybody that you want. And if, when they watch it, they just click on right here. And now you're recording. And you can see that it's recording. And they can see the video that you've just recorded. So let's say you want to send this to somebody. So you pull up an email. You can say, and then if you just do control V, it will automatically have that URL saved. So all you do is just do control V and it will put in the URL that you want. And then you can just send that email and they can click on that URL and watch the video. So just a few pointers. When you first try to do a test recording to make sure that it's all working correctly, if for some reason the sound doesn't come on, what you can do is go down here to your system preferences. This pops up, go to sound. Make sure you're in the input part. And if if it's recording properly, you'll see as I'm talking, it's it's bringing in sound. This needs to be out like this. If it's down here at zero, then you've got it muted. And so you just need to turn that on. And then you'll, you should be able to get sound. Another point that you should consider is that the size of the screen that you're recording is going to affect the size of the end file. Now, if you record a really large space, like a whole screen, and then you make a really long video, the size of the end file is going to be really enormous that you're uploading to Screencast. And when someone goes to download it to stream, a really big file size can slow down the speed that they can watch it at. So if they live somewhere like California where the internet speeds are really slow, it might take them several minutes to wait until the video even loads. So smaller files can stream faster and will often be more convenient for the person watching it. So try to make the screen as small as it is needed for what you're trying to show. Don't make it any bigger than it needs to be. Also, this program is good for creating videos that are, you know, three, four, five minutes, but once it gets longer than five minutes, the size of the file is going to get too big. So if you have a bigger video, like this can be like 10 or 15 minutes, you want to break it up into smaller pieces. So record like the first three minutes and then record the next three minutes and just make different parts. That's Snagit for the Mac. And, you know, like I said, it's a great tool. I, we highly recommend it. You start using it in your business practices and you will see both clients and coworkers really be wowed by the communication that you're able to give to them using this tool. Thanks. Bye.